hello and welcome in this video i'm going to show you how you can use this business dashboard to review and report your net profit and loss based on your amazon business also it has a provision to add additional income and additional expenses so if you have your business income coming from amazon plus any other entity like you're selling on your website or in local market or having any other form of income you can combine them together with this dashboard where you can see your all income all expenses and your amazon profit and loss for that period and you can see your net profit and loss based on all the inputs that you have done so the only thing you need to do here is to first go back to the parameter section and add your unified business transaction report which looks like this so i have got one business transaction report for uk for the month of january and once you get that just go ahead and store it in one of your sections one of your folders and then come over here to the template and here under the parameters you just give the name and the location and that should be it so once you have downloaded your report uploaded it to a folder given this folder location to that parameters and you need to do certain more activities go to the product master and define your SKUs the same SKU that you have on Amazon and you can put the product parent product name and child product name you can put the parent ASIN or child ASIN also if you want to track by those and once you've got that you need to input the total cost of goods sold and I'll tell you where to get that data from so once you got this the other things that you need to take care of is to go to the other expenses and here based on the date you can put any reference number like purchase order invoice number or anything put a description you need to select an expense category and you can define those expense categories over here and you can define as many as you want so if you want to define a new category it will show up over here so i defined a new category here now if i go back to the drop down i will see a new category so whatever you need to define custom but do not leave any blank rows over here once that is done you can you need to keep adding the data over here and similarly you need to do the same thing for the income so you have different income sources coming from different income stream you need to define over here the new income stream and that will show up in the drop down and once you have added all your data everything will consolidate into your dashboard so that's the only entry you need to do in order for this to work and once you get into the business dashboard you just need to go to the data section and from data just click on the refresh all button it will bring all the data back from the files as well as from the tables that you have previously entered and it will refresh and here you can use the slicers to slice and dice and see your data based on a certain period like monthly or weekly or quarterly and here you have an ability to break the data down into weekly buckets and it's just a simple graphic notation of your total incomes and total expenses so since this is working in the background it takes a few minutes to refresh the data but it should come back and show you the exact data that you have entered and it will give you a proper breakdown of all your income and expenses from all the different sources here i wanted to show you how you can use this supplier tab where you can go ahead and add details related to the purchase you are making for reselling so it could be either your wholesale supplier or it could be your private label manufacturer so once you are making a purchase you can go ahead and add your purchase date add the ASIN of the product and based on the pro previously defined SKU you can come back here and select the SKU that you are going to purchase so in this case just take an example of this guy where I am making a purchase for this particular item and I'll just give a random number here and suppose I'm buying it from like Walmart and uh, suppose the price per unit is six or five five pounds and total number of units i'm buying is 200 
then it will calculate the subtotal suppose i am paying for shipping also so let's say 75 pounds i'm paying shipping and i'm paying some like taxes on top of it and there are some other costs related to it getting it to your prep center or anything so suppose there are some charges related to that so now you get the total cost of purchase and you have the total unit per cost per unit and then suppose you decide to send all of them or a few of them depending on your choice so suppose instead of 200 you are just sending 100 because amazon does not accept more than that for some reason and there is only one unit per asin in this case and you are shipping it to the fba so your shipping cost for the fba you can put over here usually it's not that high but just let's take 25 pounds and then you have some other costs related to that incidental cost let's say 12 pounds and then you are not applying the label on your own so you are asking amazon to do that and i think they charge 25 to 30 cents of pence now i've just taken 30 cents and that comes to be 67 dollars of pounds for this particular label application then your total cost to ship will be calculated as 67 pence now you have your total cost per unit that is the summary of the cost and you have got total cost per asin then you have predetermined fba fee you can enter that if you know the fba fee and then you can just select the category and for that Amazon category, usually it's 15%. So I enter 15%. Now I get my break even price where I know that if I sell for less than that, I will not make any money. So suppose you are selling it for 75 pounds. In that case, that you are getting some kind of profit. You are making like 22 pounds profit, which calculates to the ROI percent and the percent of the total sales. So this is how you get this particular profit summary by looking into the purchase you're going to make. And at the same time, you need to use this number as cost of goods sold. So you see that your total cost per unit or cost per ASIN is, I think it's less, but suppose it is like 12 pounds. So in that case, it will calculate to 13 pounds or something like that. So you need to put this number as a cost of goods sold $13.20 to in the product master where you are going to select that particular SKU and put the right cost of goods sold which is in this case 13.2 then you will have a proper calculation in the total profit and loss so this data is based on the actual transactions that has happened in Amazon right and this data is actually a projection based on the sales that you're expecting to make right so this is how you can utilize the data from this sheet and get the the data back into this product master and it will all combine together to give you a profit and loss for this particular amazon business and at the same time as i mentioned before everything will combine together in this dashboard where you see the total other incomes other expenses and you see your profit and loss from amazon coming in and then you see your net profit and loss broken down in terms of each week you can see for each month also you can see for each year and you don't need to do anything because here the data will remain so if you want to see historic data you can go back if right now i just have one month data so i cannot go back and show you all but if you have december for 2021 or 2020 then you can see how you are progressing whether your profits are increasing you can see the trend directly in the data i do not have those graphs as of now but you can take this data and make a graph based on whatever way you want to see but this is just a quick representation of the total income by stream and the total expenses. So this is it. I believe this will help people who are doing this with Amazon UK and also have some other expenses and other income coming in and they want to consolidate them together. This is one of the best way to deal with. Let me know if there is any questions. I'll get back to you. Bye bye.